Hey, good morning guys. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to decompose, how to add and subtract by decomposing. It's going to end up being one of the most useful uh, mental math strategies that we're going to be using in second grade this year. So to start out, let's just talk about how we're going to decompose. First off, we know that uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Whoops. Those are all one digit numbers. Those are all our digits. So whenever you have just one of them, it's worth just that much. So that's just one. But if you have two digit number, so if you end up with 10 or more, you're going to have a two digit number. So if you end up with, say, 13, you're going to end up with three ones and also a 10. Okay. So when you break it apart, you can break it apart as 10 and three ones. The three is in the ones place, so it's worth three. The one is in the tens place, so it's worth 10. All right, so let's take a look at some more. If you were working with 58, the value of the eight is based on the place that it's in. It's in the ones place, so it's worth only eight ones. So we could draw it out by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the five, since you're saying 58, the value of the five is 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's how you could draw out 58. Or you could write out 50 and 8. So in order to add and subtract two digit numbers, we'll go ahead and try one out here without any regrouping. So let's do 23 plus 46. So we're going to go ahead and first add our values of our tens. So the 2 is worth 20. The 4, because it's in the tens place, is worth 40. We'll put those together, and you use your basic facts for this. 2 plus 4 gives you 6. So 20 plus 40 gives you 60. All right, add your 1s together. 3 plus 6. 3 plus 6 gives you 9. And at this point, all you have to do is put them back together again. and that, Or you can write it out, 60 plus 9. That might be useful to do and it gives you 69. And when you say it, you can hear 69. All right, so that's how we add without regrouping. Now I'll show you how to do one with regrouping. So let's say we have 27 plus 36. Okay, so same thing. Let's add our values of our tens place, 20, plus 30, and that gives you 50. And now let's add our ones place. The value of the seven is seven because it's only, in the, it's seven ones. The value of the six is six because it's six ones. Now, here's where we can pull some of those other strategies that we've learned, like doubles and near doubles and doubles plus one, or you can use your make a 10 strategy at this point. Just something you can slip in to speed this up so you don't have to count your fingers seven plus six. So thinking ahead, I'm thinking 6 plus 6 plus 1. So 6 plus 6, if you know your doubles, is 12, and 7 is one more. So that's, that's 13. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and put 50 and 13 back together. And this is where you might want to write it out so you can actually see this until you get the hang of it. Um, and we're, look, we're just going to walk down, walk down the row here. So 50 plus a 10 gives you 60, plus three more gives you 63. All right, so that's how you add both uh, without regrouping and with regrouping by decomposing. You can give some of those a try. Now we go for a quick subtraction one. So this one's going to be subtraction without regrouping. We're going to start out the same exact way. 62 minus uh, 41. So same thing, 60, except now we're subtracting, minus 40. Okay, 6 minus 4 is 2, so your answer is 20. Now let's go 2, the value of that, 2 minus the value of the 1 is 2 minus 1. You can do that. If you have 2, you can take 1 away, and you're left with 1. At this point, we're going to do exactly like we did before. We're going to put these back together, and we end up with 21. So that's really an easy way of doing it, and it'll end up being a thing that you end up doing without writing down eventually in your head. Now let's do one quickly without uh, with re regrouping. 
All right, so 62 minus um, 28. So at this point, same beginning. 60, take away, don't forget to look at your sign, 20 equals 40. All right, use your basic facts. 6 minus 2 is 4. Tack on the 0, 40. 2, take away 8. And here's where you need to stop and think. This is not 8, take away 2. This says 2 minus 8, and you've got to do it in that order. So if you have 2, can you take 8 away? We don't even have 8, so the answer is no. We can't take 8 away. In that case, we, we have 40 here still, so we're going to come borrow a 10 and bring it into our 1s because a 10 plus the two 1s gives you 12. So now we have 12 there. Don't forget, what do we have left? If we had 40 and we take a 10 to bring it over here, now we have three 10s, which is 30. So we'll write that as a reminder. All right, now at this point, you can use a couple different strategies or you can just count on from 8 to 12, all right, and we can subtract. Um, some of us have been pulling out a 10 because we know our 10 facts. So 10 take away 8 gives you 2. Put that there, and you have 2 left. So your answer there is 4. At this point, you're going to take and put back together your 30 plus your other answer, 4. And the answer is, that's right, 34. Okay, so this is adding and subtracting with and without regrouping by using the strategy of decomposing. So I hope this helps a little bit. Watch it a bunch of times. Um, practice a bunch. And good luck. Hope you have fun with it. And we'll see you later. All right, bye.